My name is Barbara Conrad and I'm a professor of biology at the Ludwig Maximilians University Munich. I was trained as a biochemist and geneticist and for the last 20 years I've been working on a process called programmed cell death. Many cells die in our body every day, billion and billion of cells. These cells give way to new cells and this is important for the maintenance of cellular homeostasis and therefore a healthy body. People often ask me whether preventing cells from dying would prevent aging and make us live forever. But no, preventing cells from dying would not prevent us from aging. In contrast, it would make us very ill. That's because it is important that our body can remove unwanted cells, such as cells that are potentially harmful or cells that have been damaged. To give you an example, exposure to too much sunlight can damage the DNA in cells that form our skin. These damaged skin cells need to be removed, otherwise skin cancer could develop. Cell death is also very important during development. Through cell death, cells that were formed in excess are removed and the body and its organs are shaped and sculpted. My favorite example during development is the webs of skin between fingers and toes. In utero, human fetuses have skins between their fingers and toes, but these skins are removed through programmed cell death before birth. What will the cause programmed cell death be about? In the cause, I will focus on one particular form of programmed cell death, and that is apoptosis. I will take a historical perspective of the research in the apoptosis field and use that to teach you about the molecule machinery that kills cells in a programmed manner. The apoptosis field is a great example of how different experimental approaches have led to the identification of different components of one and the same molecule machinery. The apoptosis field is a great example of how genetic, molecular and biochemical approaches complemented each other to address a fundamental biological question. The models that have been used to explore how cells die are tumors, nematode worms, fruit flies, mice and cell lines. I will discuss critical experiments that really advance the field and I will discuss the questions that the field is currently working on. I will also discuss how our knowledge of cell death has increased our understanding of various diseases and how this will ultimately help to develop novel therapeutics. This is the second year that we are running this course. Last year was a big success and that's why we decided to offer it again this year. We will use the material from last year and update the material where necessary. The course will have two teaching assistants, Katrin müller richard and Rania Salvamosa, who will accompany you through the course and who you can get in touch with if you have questions. Every week we will also have the weekly three. We will collect the three most interesting questions that the TAs received that week and then answer and discuss those in a separate video. What is required to take the course? Of course, you should be interested in learning about programmed cell death. You should also be curious about how we know what we know about programmed cell death. And finally, a basic understanding of genetics and molecule and cell biology would be advantageous. Hey everyone, my name is Katrin müller richard I joined Barbara Conrad's lab as a postdoc only a few months ago. I studied pharmacy at the LMU here in Munich and I already became interested in molecular and cellular biology during my time at university. After I got licensed as a pharmacist, I started my PhD at the LMU in a lab working on neurodegenerative diseases. During my PhD, I focused on Parkinson's disease and its associated proteins. 
I wanted to know specifically how these proteins affect mitochondria and apoptosis. I became particularly interested in mitochondria because these organelles play important roles in various cellular processes and pathways, such as apoptosis, calcium signaling, inflammation and many more. In my current research projects, I am analyzing stress response pathways that are mediated by mitochondria. I am excited to be your TA for this year's course on programmed cell death and I will be happy to answer all your questions. Looking forward to a great course. Hi, my name is Rania Salvermoser and I am Bavarian and as such, actually one of the few Germans working in Barbara Conrad's lab, since the members of this group come from all over the world. As a student, I've been working in this lab for about three years now on several different projects. Already as a biology undergrad, I started focusing on molecular and cellular biology, in particular cell death. Only when I started working here did I realize just how much there still is to be discovered in something that at first seems as trivial as cell death. In particular, I am focusing on mitochondria. I find these organelles really pretty and exciting. They are not only a crucial element of the apoptotic pathway, but are involved in a number of important processes, such as generating the cell's energy, signaling or the cell cycle. I really enjoy working in the lab and this research field. Also, I'm starting graduate school later this year and am planning to continue my work on cell death. I want to focus on the proteins that are essential for the regulation of apoptosis, the BCL2 superfamily of proteins. The balance and regulation of these proteins is crucial for life or death decisions of a cell and thus holds immense therapeutic potential. This is my first time with the Coursera course and I'm excited to be part of this project, especially after last year's great success. Being a teaching assistant, I'm one of your go-to people for any questions related to the course. I'm really looking forward to the next few weeks and I'm happy to help wherever possible. So let's get started. Good luck and have fun. Okay, so let's get started. Packmas und Servus. See you guys.